Okay, so thank you for joining me on this meditation. It can be one of the hardest things in the world as a mom to really iron out the space and the time for you. Now that you're here, let's really fully embrace that. And if you're someone who is new to meditation, please know that there's no way of doing anything wrong. What will show up for you today is perfect for you today. Just letting yourself free of any expectation of what this should look like. And particularly in this time of year, there's a lot going on around us. So just for the next few minutes or so, I'm just going to shut that all out. Let yourself, free yourself of the responsibilities, wife, mom, colleague, and space to be. So with that in mind, you can, ideally, you can lay down, but if not, then feed So just take your time, really take your time to find your comfort. And do whatever you need to make yourself more comfortable here. And as you start to soften into the stillness, really start to feel beautiful support beneath the, the earth. Very easy to lose ourselves in the spirit of the festivities of doing more and being more, if not feeling enough. The need to be everywhere. Really take this time to relinquish that feeling of the ground beneath you. This feeling of stillness. You surrender to it. Courageous enough to just be in a world that constantly asks us to do. Begin our practice and to notice your breath. Do with anything, if anything with it right now. And perhaps that simple fact of noticing it allows it to soften and slow a little bit. And from here, I want you to take a deep inhale from your belly all the way to the forehead. Hold it when you get to the top. Hold a little bit longer. As you exhale, I want you to soften your whole entire body. Feel as your toes feel. Okay. Yeah. Um. Then, shoulder and head come to rest. And knowing in this time, busyness, my expectations, 
greatest gift we can give to ourselves and others around us. As you take a deep inhale through the nose, all the way down the throat to the belly, to hold it there for a moment. A little longer. I need to let expectations go. You exhale. A breath returns when natural. Just knowing the presence, the people that we love the most around us, the most powerful thing in the world. And your kids, people around you look back at this period. They're not going to remember the presence under the tree. It's not going to be about the mountain of gifts and things. It's going to be about how truly present we were together. How you spent time, quality time with one another. Loved, felt. And perhaps the biggest gift that we can give others are things like putting our phone away, turning off the TV, making eye, eye contact, playing a favourite game, going for a favourite walk in nature. Take this moment to really centre in for the smaller thing. Things that are real. Things that make us feel alive. Very often that isn't just pouring our energy out all the time. And bring more, 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 buying more, more, more sometimes the most beautiful thing we can do to less noticing anything that's coming up for you right now give yourself a beautiful chance to just be it's been a little while since you Found it down, found stillness amongst the chaos. And so long, giving to everyone else around us, particularly as mums. We do that from a place of deep love. But know that the greatest act of love that you can give yourself, those around you, looking after you, you are not okay, no. greatest magic in their eyes, being spark in yours, your needs matter, you matter. And in a time of festivities, very, very often we turn to giving gifts to one another. 
you look at the five love languages by Gary Chapman, it's just one of the ways we can give and receive love. How about the other four? Words of affirmation, just verbal acknowledgements of affection. With the time, the feeling, like we want to be around a loved one, and then wanting to be around us. Physical touch, kissing, holding hands, a hugging, a service that can make each other's lives a little bit easier right now. in the form of saying no and putting up boundaries to things that don't serve you. And you invite more of what's important to you. Things you need to implement in your day to day to keep everything else. More than anything, just know that you can always come back to your breath. It's innate wisdom in our body is telling you, calling out you to listen. Listen deeply to that. Knowing that intuition inside of you, guiding you the path. And the path of peace here. Protect your energy. Be more valuable than to slow down. Did you last give yourself the opportunity to In expectations of yourself, could you be a little bit kind, compassionate, knowing that you are human? Very human needs. And I wanted to share with you a reading by someone called Brianna West. Brianna West. And we don't need a lot to be happy but we do need things that are real. We do need things that grip our hearts and enliven us and make us feel like we're here for a reason. Here to experience something that could only be touched by the human body, understood by the human mind and loved by a human heart. When we deny ourselves the authentic experience of being alive, we reach for more then what we really want is not to stretch wider, but to go deeper. As we start to bring our meditation to a close, I want you to think, how can you go deeper on love, deeper on compassion? Be you first, then that beautiful ripple effect will come to those around you. And in this time of sharing our light and our energy so often to others around us and doing it for the whole year, every single day, what can you take back for you? From here, I want you to imagine there's a beautiful piece of gold in your hand and I want you to place it on your heart. It's this gorgeous golden light that you share with everyone around you magic that only you have. But this magic can only shine truly, brilliantly, and boldly if we take some back for ourselves and protect it. So 
as you place the gold in your hand on your heart, let it simmer and soften as it melts all the way down into your ribs, your belly, all the way down to your hips, your thigh, front of your knee, your chin, top of your foot, around the back, the heel, all the way up the back, the leg. Back your torso, all the way up your neck, at the top of your head, your forehead, and the front of your neck, the past the chin, right all the way through your shoulders, arms, all the way down into your fingertips. Arms come up, palm of your hand. All the way back, shoulder, and it rests in its right place in your heart. A deep inhale through your nose. Just take a bit of a energy back for you. Inhale in through the nose. What can you let go of today and leave here with you? Exhale. Our practice. I need to repeat the mantra. I am love. I am love. My needs matter. A few moments, taking a moment. Practicing for yourself, going up, doing the internal work today, knowing that when we top our, we top our own cup off, get it all the way up, or from an overflowing one is full of love, light. Thank you for sharing your meditation with me today. Whenever you're ready, you can. Bring yourself slowly back into the room. Be kind to yourself. Just be start to wiggle off fingers, toes, your head from left to right. Take a deep inhale, reach your arms above your head, big stretch. And then give yourself a nice big hug to finish with, like you're hugging someone you love. So peel your eyes open. Ready to come on the day. Taking a bit of that with you for the rest of the week. <laughs>